conservative new media viewers, the Miami Heat are in free fall, and Heat Hater Nation is in full bloom. And the team has no one to blame but themselves. Miami lost at home to the Portland Trailblazers tonight. The final score of the contest was 105-96 to for the visiting Blazers. Portland led by nine points with around six minutes left in the fourth quarter. Miami fought back, however, to cut that lead down to just two points with four minutes and 35 seconds left in the contest following a LeBron James fast break dunk. But from that point on, Portland took control of the contest and sailed to the easy victory. Forward LaMarcus Aldridge led Portland with 26 points, four rebounds, and one assist. Reserve swingman Gerald Wallace, recently acquired from the Charlotte Bobcats, had 22 points, nine boards, and one dime in the victory. Miami was led by Dwayne Wade's 38 points, six rebounds, and five assists. LeBron James also had a strong game, finishing with 31 points, 11 boards, and 8 assists to just miss out on a triple-double. Portland improves to 37-27 with the win. Miami drops to 43-21 following the loss. Miami has dropped five straight games and six of their last seven. Now that we have gone over the particulars of the game, let's talk about the skidding heat. What is going on with this team? How can they get beat at home on a night when LeBron and D. Wade combine for 69 points, 17 boards, and 13 assists? First of all, the team appears to be playing with little heart or resolve. Certainly, LeBron and Wade brought it tonight. But Wade doesn't always seem to be going full out on defense, and the team just appears to wilt mentally at the first sign of difficulty. Second, Miami's bench is not getting it done. The Heat bench was outscored by Portland's bench tonight, 41-8. to That is a staggering figure. The big three all constantly have to produce huge nights for the team to have a shot at winning. Tonight, Chris Bosh was not on his game, and that meant that Miami didn't have enough options to get the job done. Third, Scouts say that the Heat offense is one of the most unimaginative ones in the NBA. Miami is too predictable, in other words. This makes it easier for opponents to double-team the big three and sag off of the struggling Heat bench. So, some feel, there are coaching issues also at play in the fall of the Heat. In general, Miami plays as though they expect to win simply by taking the court. They don't give maximum effort for 48 minutes, night in and night out. They whine about calls, they crumble under adversity, they break offensive sets in favor of isolation plays, and they generally don't move the ball well or play as a team. Additionally, they have lost their confidence. That's a very bad thing when you have the two-time defending NBA champs coming into this Thursday. That's right. If things were not bad enough now, then a potential beatdown on Miami's home floor on national American television is looming in just two days. Critics say that LeBron and Wade play like they are more concerned with their marketing status than they are with the team's results. That is, making sure they score a lot of points and keeping their stats up, as well as dominating the ball rather than truly playing in a team format. I don't know if that is true or not, but there does seem to be a lack of leadership among the Heat. It's not that guys don't want to win. It's almost like they don't know how to win, and they don't know how to win as a trio and as a team. There is no team unity, no cohesion that you see in great teams like the Boston Celtics, where the ball moves freely. The Heat organization, from top to bottom, needs to do some serious soul-searching now and probably after this season ends. Many astute observers of the NBA did not feel that Miami would win the NBA championship this season. But those same people also probably didn't think that Miami would look like such a disorganized, uninspired, and sometimes pathetic squad as they do right now. 
If things continue as they are going right now, there will be huge question marks over the entire organization this offseason. For Conservative New Media, this is Paul F. Villarreal.